Hey, and what's up, guys? Welcome to another video. And again, it is my... This isn't even plugged in. That's more me. I'm so grateful that you decided to watch this video. And spend your time with me for a couple minutes. So this motherfucker, Leon Lush, has introduced me to all these Instagram people that I didn't know existed. So, thank you. I've been watching his videos, and I've been learning a lot from this tomato person. Make videos. Create content. Use other people's name in the title. Check, check, check. Play to your strengths. We're all out here on this YouTube grind. So most of my videos that have the most views, they're all, they all have to deal with drawing. Drawing something. So I thought I'd do a little portrait of uh, Leon today to just say thanks for making me laugh and that I need to use someone else's name in the best idea I have at the moment. And I'm gonna make, and he seems to be obsessed with tomatoes. So I'm gonna make him red. Not the red he deserves, but the, the, the red he needs. All right, this is gonna go to fast forward and, She's going to be my hands drawing stuff. Narration Nation. Narration Nation. All right, now I got this uh, microphone plugged in. Got my lines down. Got my reference photo. Listening to Lamb of God. Grr. I went to, I seen Lamb of God live once at an Oz Fest. It was great. And I was working security. Black lines. That big circle lump in the middle, obviously, is microphone. Frank and thing .tv to see the rest of my artwork because I don't post on Instagram because I'm stubborn and I've been building up my gallery on DeviantArt and I like that place. So this is actually the third YouTuber I've drawn. Not that that's significant or important. All right, I'm testing my markers here on this sheet of paper. To see how they're gonna look and how they might overlap one another. Going to those really red ass lips. I said I was gonna use red, like lots of red. Like so, I got like different shades of red. There's like a like a sharpie red. There's an orange red, and then there's an even darker red. I have lots of markers. That's what I mainly use. It's highly influenced by graffiti artists to do type of this stuff. He's got some luscious red lips. Now this thing, I will admit throughout this it looks horrifying but i assure you by the end it turns out pretty well but throughout it's pretty goddamn terrifying so that's a screenshot i'm using as reference i always use reference photos and uh, i just i just I played one of his videos on my phone and just screenshot it now the key to making a face look well is not to completely saturate the whole thing you got to leave white spots and you got to make other spots darker and these uh more professional markers i have make it really more like you're kind of painting than even using markers i gotta go in his hair now obviously he's red and he looks terrifying but this does turn out okay because I'm, I'm gonna go in and do his beard like obviously the beard's on top it's like yeah this is the base of the hair color it's, this is an orange it's a really light orange the hair is gonna be magically done before you know it because uh, my video camera, the, the battery died when I finished it anyways. So multiple layers of uh, orange, brown, then I'm going to put some green in the hair as well because, you know, tomato's got that green thing on top. So he's got a very clean cut, very clean cut look. Here's a, there we go. Yeah, the hair is done right there. It's coming together nicely. I'm going to do the beard next and then the eyes, obviously. I'm working on his beard. He's, he's very uh, well groomed. I give him props. That's hard work. He has a beard, but it's much more groomed than I. I. I usually go a month without doing anything and then groom myself. I'm an animal. <laughs> See, look, look at it come together. Two different um, uh, flavors, not flavors, hues of uh, brown. 
not just going off the reference photo of how it turns out. His eyebrows are actually much, much lighter than I made them. They were a bit too dark. Obviously, he doesn't have green hair either. We know what's going on here. It's just visually pleasing and stimulating to be able to see them. Darken those eyes. It's light blue. We're gonna a bit of other blue. Gotta leave all those little white highlights to make it look real. He's wearing a white shirt. Needs some gray. Oh, I know, right. To make it pop, to make it really look well. Do a darker gray around the whole frame. Maybe like he's casting a shadow to really bring him out. Now it, it's, it's all done. That's the whole thing. There'll be a clear picture in a bit. Obviously, I can do my signature. Signature! And uh, this fucking weird monkey thing he's got. Nigel is going to be at the center. And then my graffiti around him. Like I do in everything. That's how I sign my work, yo. And uh, Leon, I'm sorry, but... Uh, if you didn't know this, every person that I draw in my, you know, my, my book, my black book, my newest one, they, um, it, it, it'll, it also captures their souls. So, I'm sorry, but your soul is mine now. But uh, I hope you appreciate it. There we go. That looks good. That's a hot, that's a quality photo right there. It's so dope. I'm so happy. Frankenthing.tvnart.com. Like, comment, subscribe. Need those views. Thank you very much.